Hi everyone, it's Bob Perkins with the AAISP's Inside Sales Studio, bringing you another Monday Morning Sales Minute. We're here for the second video in a series uh, on body language. Uh, Leo Cardenas, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Bob. How are you doing? Great. Uh, he, you had a fantastic tip last week about looking at a LinkedIn picture because that helps you build a connection. This week, you're going to talk about something that has to do with the body, a big piece, and that's your voice. So please share your body language tip uh, to our viewers today. Well, thank you, Bob. So uh, last week, like you said, we did the eye contact partner. So now that we are actually making that phone call, it is so important that we have the right voice tone uh, when we're talking to people. So it's not what we say, but how we say it, that is a really big part of body language. In fact, there have been scientific studies that show that doctors get more malpractice suits because of their voice tone than if they have good bedside manners, for example. And we've all had that bad experience with one doctor. That is bad for them. And a lot of them, you know, yeah, it's their career, so they feel a little bit more superior, but it shows up in their voice. So yes. we want to make sure that we don't do the same thing when we're making that phone call. Mm. Now, one way to guarantee that mm. is to smile. And people say that they can hear a smile over the phone, and it's actually true. And I always tell people, change the way that you're sitting or the way that you are making that phone call to make sure that you have the best tonality you can have. Wow. One of the best things that you can do is stand up, right? Stand up, <laughs> open up the airways, and we sound a lot more interested in that call than if we're slumped over making that call like, call like we don't even want to be there. Oh. It'll actually show, they'll hear that on the phone. Wow. We want to make sure that they don't. That, that's amazing. So I've heard before of some inside reps when they, you know, they're on an important call, they stand up or, or even if you're, you're, you're sitting up, what does that do to the body? Do you think that then makes the voice sound, you know, warmer or more genuine? So one of the things I do before any presentation or any workshop yeah. when I'm about to give it is that I actually stand up and power pose, right? So mm -hmm. I put my arms on my hips and I actually stand up for at least five minutes before any presentation to make sure that I build up all that adrenaline and testosterone that I want in my body yeah. before every presentation. It makes you sound more confident. It makes you sound more of a risk taker. And when it comes to sales, we want to be risk takers. We want to be confident that we're selling the right product and that we're selling it the right way. Well, what a great tip. Uh, so, so viewers out there, uh, try standing up, try, you know, even if you don't stand up to talk, stand up, put your hands on your hip, get in the, the mode ready uh, before you make that call. We'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, Leo, thanks for joining us this morning. If someone wants to learn a little bit more about body language and sales, uh, how can they uh, get in contact with you? The best way is through my website. All my links to my social media are right there. It's leocardinas.com. Great. We'll put that on the screen for viewers. and. Uh, we, uh, you're going to uh, be out. We're, we're going to talk to you later about coming out to the Leadership Summit where you'll give more than just two tips on body language and sales, right? Absolutely. We have a whole list of things that we can cover, and we will cover those at the summit. Fantastic. Uh, viewers, thanks for joining us uh, in this week's Monday Morning Sales Minute. Uh, it's Bob Perkins signing off from AISP's Inside Sales Studio. Have a great week and good selling. Bye.